This is Hoover Headlines. My name is Natalia. In this episode, we'll be talking about what ecosystem is and why it's important for us humans to work together to protect, to keep our environment livable for future generations. Hello, my name is Daisy. The fourth and fifth graders students have just completed two important surveys this week. The core cell surveys and California Health Kids Survey. Thank you students, parents, teachers, and staff who participate in these surveys. Last week, our fifth grade students started a chocolate fundraising project. The fifth graders students are hoping to raise money for a field trip to Knott's Berry Farm as a celebration for promoting to middle school. Good luck, fifth grader students. On February 11, Hoover Elementary will be closed ce- celebrating Abraham Lincoln's 145th birthday. Lincoln became the 16th president of the United States in 1860. He served as president of until his death of 1865. He, he was assassinated at the beginning of the, his second term as a president. Attention fourth and fifth grade students. The photography gl- club is finished with their last assignment this week. The next week, Ms. Bariga will start another element of the art club. This element will be included blind drawing, cartoon drawing, movie making, and more. If you are interested, Please show up at our first meeting. Our first meeting is going to be on Thursday, February 14th during lunch in room one. By the way, the art and photography club projects made, made by the art club members are, on, are now on display in the hallways. My name is Damien Sells. Just a reminder to all parents. Hoover Elementary will have a parent nutrition class this Thursday, February 14th, from 6 until 7.30 p.m. Good morning, Hoover. The Santa Ana Zoo offers free day the third the third Sunday of each month to Santa Ana residents. Approval of residencies such as a driver's license or a utility bill will be required upon arrival. The next Santa Ana free day is on February 17th. My name is Johan. See you later there. Monday, February 18th is a national holiday. We will be celebrating President George Washington's birthday. George Washington was a founding father of the revolution. He was served as the first president of the New Republic in 1789. On Thursday, February 21st, Hoover Elementary School will have will have a family movie night event. The Incredibles will be showing in the quad area. Family movie night will begin at 6.20 p.m. So bring your cozy blankets and enjoy watching The Incredibles with your friends and family. Now for some science news. For this, we will start with Zane. Good morning, my name is Zane. I am out here in the hallway asking some students and teachers if they know what an ecosystem is. Good morning. What is your name? My name is Mario. Do you like science? Yes. Can you explain to me what an ecosystem is? An ecosystem is something that is in, in outer space. Why is maintaining our ecosystem important? Because we... Because oh, <laughs> we... Demon. Do you like science? Yes, I like science. Can you explain to me what an ecosystem is? I really don't know what an ecosystem is, but I know it's um, part of this earth. Why is it maintaining our ecosystem important? It might be because it might collapse. Good morning, Luis. Do you like science? Yes. Can you explain to me what an ecosystem is? I really don't. Part of the land that we live in? Yeah. Okay. Good morning, Amy. Do you like science? Yes. Can you explain to me what an ecosystem is? I don't know what an ecosystem is. Why is it maintaining our ecosystem important? 
for where we could keep it clean. Thing, Miss Houlihan. Do you like science? I love science. Can you explain to me what an ecosystem is? An ecosystem is a, a system where a group of living things work and live together. Why is it maintaining our ecosystem important? Because all of the parts are an important part of an ecosystem, and if you miss one part, then the ecosystem can collapse. Not a good thing. Thank you. Our resident scientist, Dr. Catherine, is here to explain to us what an ecosystem is. Watch this. Good morning, Hoover. My name is Catherine, with a little bit of science report for you. So what is an ecosystem? An ecosystem includes all of the living things, plants, animals, and other living beings in a given area, interacting with each other and also with their non-living environments, like the weather, earth, sun, soil, climate, and atmosphere. Ecosystems are the foundations of the biosphere, and they determine the health of the entire Earth system. In an ecosystem, each organism has its own role to play. Consider a small puddle at the back of your home. In it, you may find all sorts of living things, from microorganisms or tiny living things to insects and plants. These may depend on non-living things like water, sunlight, turbulence in the puddle, temperature, atmosphere, pressure, and even nutrients in the water for life. Any time a stranger or external factor such, a, such as rise in temperature is introduced to an ecosystem, it can be disastrous to that ecosystem. This is because the new factor can distort the natural balance of the interaction and potentially harm or destroy the ecosystem. In other words, living and non-living things depend on one another to make a balanced ecosystem. We don't want to mess anything up because if we do, we may harm our environment and ourselves. Bye. Good morning, Hoover. My name is Luis. In this current event, I will be talking about the most important contributors of our ecosystem, the bee. The European honeybee first arrived on the North American continent in 1620. Hives of bees were brought over by early colonists when they came to America almost 400 years ago. Over the years, the number of honeybee has steadily increased in, in numbers while the wild bee populations have steadily decreased. There are over 4,000 bee species that are native to North America. The number of variety of these bee species have declined as their habitat has been destroyed. Large scale, large scale from farming, large scale farming has increased destroying much of the wild bees. More than 10 years ago, beekeepers began reporting problems with their bees. Some bee farmers are finding their hives contained, contained with pollen, honey, and larvae, but no bees were found in the hive. The, hive, the bees had just disappeared. Beekeepers are seeing a major decline in the number of hives. They believe it is a combination of loss of habitat. New parasites attacking the bees and the parasites that are causing the colonies collapse. Disorder in the bees. Bees are perfectly adapted to pollinate, helping plants grow, breed, and produce food. They do so by transferring pollen between flowering plants and so keep the cycle of life turning. The the vast ma majority of plants we need for food rely on pollination, especially by bees, from almonds to and vanilla and apples to squash. If the major pollina pollinators disappear, we will not be able to grow plants and crops that sustain us. My name is Luis from Ms. Hernandez's class. Bye. Good morning, my name is Diana, and today we're going to do a little science experiment. In this experiment, we'll find out if we have real or fake honey. First, we're going to need a bowl. Then we're going to need some honey. Then water.
Now we're gonna pour some water in the bowl. This is our quote of the week. My name is Kiara. Alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. This quote comes from Ke Helen Keller. Helen Adams Keller was an American author, political act activist, and lecturer. She was the first deaf blind person to earn a Bachelor of Arts degree. She was born in Alabama in 1880. She died in 1968. She was 87 years old. This has been our episode this week. Remember, we all are part of this ecosystem, and we must work together to keep our environment clean for all. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. We'll see, see you later. Bye.